Max? Max? Max! Oh, yeah. Hey, Hermie. What's up? What's up? Well, where's your opening monologue that cues my entrance so I can say humorous and witty things to all my fans? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, well, I'm just a little upset. About what? Well, it's kind of embarrassing. Look, if anyone knows about embarrassing, it's me. What's going on? My, my, oh, my nose is too big. What? Well, from my perspective, all of you is too big. Well, that's true. But today I saw someone else's nose. It was the perfect size, so nice, so petite. It looked great, right there in the center of their face. Well, how do you know they weren't looking at you and admiring your earlobes? What do you mean? They probably said, man, check out that guy's earlobes. They're great. <laughs> Wish I had his earlobes. Do you think so? I know so. I'm going to look at my earlobes in the mirror. I never knew they were so handsome. Thanks. Max! Well, I think this is the part where Max says something like, uh, we're all unique in some way, and as Skeeter is about to find out, sometimes the very part of us we like the least is what someone else likes the most. <laughs> or something like that. Max! Uh, you're much better at these openings. Stop admiring your earlobes and get back over here. Max? of them right over by the fence. I, uh, or was it the river? Or was it the fountain? <laughs> the raspberries are ruined. All oh, this dumb old stinger. Always directing me in the wrong direction. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Oh well, time to fly. To the garden! <laughs> Wrong way. To the garden! H oh. Hurry! Just be patient. It's a virtue, you know. Make sure it's not crooked. When did I ever do something crooked? The last poster you nailed up. But that was like five minutes ago. Oh, my back! Stop complaining so much. Uh, you know, it's really a nice view up here. I think I can see my home. Got it. <sighs> uh, little help here? Sinclair M. Skeeto appearing here tonight. World explorer, adventurer, expert on everything. Wow, 
W-O-W, wow. Sinclair and Mosquito's coming here. Sinclair and Mosquito is coming here? We studied his military tactics at the Army and Boot Camp. Hey, I'm slipping here. Anyone? Sinclair M. Mosquito is coming here? Oh, he's so, so wonderful. wonderful. I don't suppose anyone could lend me a hand here, you know, or, or a wing, or, or even a spider's leg would be fine. Look out below! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Hermie, I brought you something. A raspberry. Oh, right. What? What's this? Why would such a famed explorer come to our garden? He's world renowned. We're not, We're not worthy. worthy. Hey, Skater, isn't he your brother? 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 Gotta be kidding. But he's so. Oh, what's the word? Uh. Unique. Right. And Skeeter, you're so. What's the word? Um. Uh... Familiar? Ordinary? Regular? You're so Skeeter. But your stinger is so crooked and his is so straight. I know. I was born this way. Aww. That's why everybody always loves Sinclair more than me. Well, we need to get ready for Sinclair. Oh, yes, right. Let's go. Oh, yes, let's go. I can't believe he's coming. Oh, the poster is still crooked. You ever had your eyes checked? I think your left eye is lower than your right eye. Sinclair was never afraid of anything. He was smart and he read all kinds of books and he's been all over the world and he's got a great sense of direction and he always knows where he is. And not like me, I always get lost. That's always bothered you? Oh, well, that never bothered me. Oh, well, what did? Well, it was his stinger. His was always straight as an arrow and mine was always crooked. Dumb old thing. Sometimes I just want to... <laughs> Dumb old stinger. Skeeter, stop it. That's not going to help. Here, let, let me try. sneeze around green peppers. Green peppers? Where? Well, over there. Hey, past the bush down the hill. Wow, you really have a great sense of smell. That's the only thing that's good about this crazy nose. My whole life it's bothered me. Dad always loves Sinclair more. He was disappointed with my stinger. <laughs> Why did God make me this way? Why don't you ask him? God? Are you there? Always, Skeeter. Hello, Hermie. Oh, uh, <clears throat> hi, God. Uh, nice day, isn't it? Sure it is. But Skeeter isn't having such a nice day. Well, I was just wondering, why was I born with this crooked stinger? It's always steered me in the wrong direction. The aerodynamics must be wrong. I, I think it's a design flaw. I don't make mistakes, Skeeter. Well, 
I wish my father and Sinclair thought that. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. It only matters what I think of you. And I think you're just right. Really? Hey, speaking of just right, here comes Sinclair. <laughs> I present Sinclair B. Skeeto! It's Sinclair M. Skeeto. Oh. <laughs> Sinclair M. Skeeto! Actually, it's Sir Sinclair M. Skeeto. Oh. Actually, it's Sir Sinclair M. Skeeto! The third. The third. Hello, it's me. Strike up the band, sound the chorus, drum the hops. Sir Sinclair M. Skeeto the third has arrived. Wait, hold on. I said something. It's adventure. I have a nose for my next big adventure. There's no mountain high enough, no valley low enough, no river wide enough. What? No way, Jose. Oh, it's an honor to meet you, Sir Sinclair M. Skeeto <laughs> the Third. Uh, I'm Hermie. The Caterpillar. The first. <laughs> I read all your books. Taming the tornadoes, attacking the Amazon, pole vaulting the volcanoes, tickling the tarantulas. Oh, all of them. Splendid to meet you. As I live and breathe. Skater, my brother, how are you? You are looking well the same. Ow! Sorry, Sinclair. What were you pointing that thing? Your stinger's always been nothing but trouble. <laughs> so, uh, how was the carrot stew you had for lunch? It was simply delish. How did you know that I had carrot stew for lunch? Well, I can smell it on your breath. Oh, yes, that nose of yours. <laughs> it can find a pumpkin 20 miles away, but it can't find its way home. What are you doing here, Sinclair? Skeeto? <laughs> the third? Um, uh, sir? Right. I'm here to present a talk on my latest series of discoveries and to reveal my latest quest. Simply splendid. So, please accept my invitation. I hope you both can be there tonight. Sure. Yeah, sure. So then, I'll see you later. <laughs> if you don't get lost. <clears throat> <laughs> should be very exciting. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. And here I am leading ants to Antarctica. Oh, really? Next time. Sailing a boat of ticks across the Atlantic. Oh, oh. oh so brave. So courageous. This is incredible. I can't believe he's your brother. Neither can I. You know, I've been on many quests in my life, but this may be my greatest. I'm looking for this. What is it? An ancient symbol. I believe it is the key to finding a lost treasure. A treasure unlike any other. It was given to me by my father before he died. And my research leads me to believe it is somewhere in this garden. Oh, wow! Has anyone seen this symbol? Anyone? Anyone who can lead us there? Anyone with a great sense of direction? Anyone? I've seen that symbol before! I saw it the other day! Yep, right over... Well, it... Uh, well, it... Uh, hmm. Oh, Peachy. Now I'll never find it. 
finally, I have a chance to help my brother on one of his adventures. You remember how to get there, right? Well, sure, I, I think. I mean, it, it's, it's got to be somewhere. Don't worry. I'll come with you, too. I have a nose for directions. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, I hope my nose is feeling better tomorrow. Sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's a beautiful day to get lost. Are you ready to fly, Sinclair? Fly? I never fly, Skeeter. You miss too many clues flying. I always walk. <laughs> yes, good for the lungs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're off on the greatest adventure ever. Oh, wow. oh good wow. luck, Skeeter. Hey, let's go! Oh, Come on, everybody! Oh, so brave! We're lost. Are you sure it's this way? Well, it it could be this way, or or that way, or uh, they both look the same. I knew this would happen. Why did I put you in charge of directions? We haven't even gone that far. I really believe it's this way. Come on. Uh, I, I really believe it's this way. Come on. What do you think Dad hid in that treasure? I don't know. He was always one for surprises. Oh, I miss our father, Skeeter. Me too. I appreciated his sense of adventure. The places he saw, the stories he told us, the gifts he brought us. <laughs> we got some great presents. <laughs> Remember those pecans from Paraguay? Or those tummy twisters from Tunisia? Or how about those ooey gooey butter cakes from Bismarck? Oh, those were my favorite. Now those were the best. I love those. Oh, me too. <clears throat> So, are we close? Well, we're not exactly lost. We're just uh, slightly off course from where we're supposed to be. Oh, I knew it. Skeeter, you always get lost. I know I saw the symbol, but it, but it was while I was flying. If we could fly, then I could see better. Uh, you know what? It's no use. Let's set up camp here for the night. We'll get a fresh start in the morning. Freddy, set up the camp. <laughs> Right. It's about time. He's amazing. He's a stunning. He's super speed. Look at me. I'm so brave. Look at me. So well behaved. Well, did you ever think you'd see something as fast as I can be? Everything I do is never, never wrong. Look at me, I'm flying great. Look at me, my stinger's straight. I bet you never thought you'd find a bug so smart and oh so kind. I'm finally where I belong. You know I'll be courageous. It doesn't make a difference if I'm big or small. Look at me now, I'm the hero. The greatest of them all. Oh, look at me. Let's out hooray. Oh, look at me as I fly away. I never thought I'd be as I think you'll all agree. The one who always comes to save the day. Look at me. The girls, they swoon as I fly around the moon. There's nothing I can be, 
what one be me? I even have this tone. I'm Dickinson, that's outrageous. You know I'll be courageous. It doesn't make a difference if I'm big or small. Oh, so long he was a hero. Well, look at me now. I'm a hero. The greatest of them all. Is this a dream? Is this for real? All that I know is that I'm at the wheel. I always knew with the right circumstance that I could be great if I only get the chance. That's outrageous. You know I'll be courageous. It doesn't make a difference if I'm big or small. For so long he was as he oh, Look at me now, I'm the hero. He's super speed. The greatest of them all. The greatest of them all. Nothing. I I just had a dream. It's it's nothing. Good. Then let's get started. I'm ready for another day of walking around in circles, covering places we've been to hundreds of times before. Look, I always get lost. Okay, I know it. I'm not perfect. I. But uh, there are some things about me that are uh, good. Skeeter, what is it? I smell raspberry juice. Yes, 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 yes. We know your nose can smell food. That'll come in handy around lunchtime. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Skeeter, where are you going? It's right. Or the symbol. <laughs> hey guys, I found it. It's right here. I spilled raspberries here the day I found it. It's the raspberries I smelled. They led me to the symbol. He found it. He found it. That's wonderful news. Wonderful news. Skeeter, that nose of yours really smells. You know, that could be taken two ways. Come on, let's fly up and take a look. Yes, yes, well, well, what's the hurry? I mean, we found it, right? Uh, that's what's important here. Finding it, first and foremost, is what we needed to do so we can fly later. Are you afraid of flying? Afraid of flying? Come on! I'm a mosquito! And really... Uh, uh, no. The truth is... I can't fly. That's why I've been driving you everywhere! Sinclair! You... You, you can't fly? No. My wings... They're too small. That's why I always hide them under this jacket. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. But I thought Dad loved you more because, well, you had a straight stinger. But I thought he always loved you more because you could fly. Hey, it, it's okay. I mean, if anyone understands about not being perfect, it's me. <laughs> Come on, I'll fly you up there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's better than I could have done. There it is. I've been looking for this for so long. It seems to be some kind of door. With a lock and two keyholes. I wonder where the keys are. What would our father use for a key? I'll try my stinger. I've picked a few locks in my day with it. Brilliant!
front. Now I'll try the other. Oh, it's no use. My stinger won't work. How are we going to open it? I bet Father hid the clue in the X. Try your stinger, Skeeter. This twisted thing? All right, but uh, I, I think it's a waste of... Uh... <laughs> Did it! Your stinger was the other key! It was? <laughs> well, what do you know about that? <laughs> oh my goodness! Two treasure chests! Let's see what Father left for us. A note? That's it? How valuable can this be? Well, read it. Dear Sinclair and Skeeter, since you are reading this, then undoubtedly you work together to find this treasure. That was my intention all along. I wanted you to understand that you're both important to me. I love you both the way you are. It never bothered me, Sinclair, that you couldn't fly, or Skeeter, that your stinger was crooked. God made you both with qualities that are very different, but very unique. I love you both the way you are. Your father. This was the best treasure he could ever leave. <laughs> yes. Yes, Skeeter, it was. No, oh, there's more. P.S. I left you something you both love in the other chest. Buttercakes Butter cakes from, from Bismarck! Bismarck. Are you guys okay up there? Yep, yeah, no problem. We're fine. <laughs> hey. What's that smell? It, it, it smells like ooey gooey butter cakes from Bismarck. Uh, hey! Do you guys have ooey gooey butter cakes from Bismarck up there? <laughs> I can't hear you all the way up here. We'll be down in a minute. Why couldn't I have wings? Uh, well, goodbye, uh, and uh, have, oh, a, so nice have a nice... Uh, have a nice... Well. Bye. Skeezer, my brother, thank you for that wonderful adventure. I learned so much about what makes us both unique and why our father loved us. Oh, I was glad to help. And if you're ever in the garden, let me know. I'll show you around. Well, it, it may take a while, but... Uh... <laughs> yes, that's good. Well, I just received word that an earthquake in the Yucatan has opened up a passageway to the hidden Mayan mole mines. That should be another fascinating adventure. Would you like to join me? Oh, no thanks, bro. You're the one that likes to travel. But I'd love to hear about it sometime. Well, then, Skeeter, I guess it's goodbye, then. That's that. Oh, wait. Where is he? Well, where is he? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, well. <sighs> it's a fine day for a walk. Well, it was nice meeting your brother. Uh, you know, he inspired me to seek out some treasure of my own. Oh, yeah? I'm beginning my quest for the secret of the lost raspberries. Um, uh, well, they're right behind you. <laughs> well, thanks for ruining my adventure. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Skeeter really learned his lesson. There are things about ourselves that we don't like, but our Father in Heaven loves us just the way we are. 
The Bible said in Psalms 139, verses 13 and 14, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. He loves us even if we have a big nose. Hey, look, I may not like my nose, but at least I've got unique earlobes. That's true. It's a shame that one is longer than the other. What? It is? I could straighten those out for you if you'd like. No thanks. Besides, I'm sure my nose is good for something. Mmm. Do you smell that? What? What? Raspberry pie. That way. Oh, that nose of yours is terrific. I'll go check it out. Bye. Max, I don't see any pie. Are you sure that nose of yours is working? What is that I smell? Is that raspberry pie? I'm coming right back. Max, uh, save me the crust at least. <laughs> 